vlog is about to sound a lie to me. So today we're going to talk about this documentary trailer which I found um on YouTube not that long ago actually. May 24th. Oh my god. Oh my god, getting in and routine is very hard sometimes, guys. So this is coming out May May 24th for Disney Plus. So it's not that far away when you think about it, but this gives me some time to react to it. Because sometimes I would do a trailer and it's like, oh come on, it's coming out this week. I don't like it when trailers, you know, with Fraggle Rock, for example, I was waiting for that to drop. I'm glad it didn't drop when I was away, because uh, when I saw just like a bow boy, because I'm like, if this is if this drops when I'm away, it's gonna be insane. So I'm glad it didn't. It dropped when I came back though, so I had to quickly do that with Beetlejuice as well, because that dropped when I was away as well. So I'm like, where are these trailers coming from, basically? So yeah, so anyway, um, I like when trailers are like far ahead, like one month, because it gives you time to react, and when the trailer drops, and it's like, oh, it's coming next week, like, what? And you're like, duh, 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 so it's like, ah, oh, you know, I wish trailers would drop, like, not so instantaneous, if you get what I mean, so yeah, so anyway, um, I hope it aligned as much as I lied to, because I've been struggling behind the scenes with a very sore drawer, um, yeah, it's, um, it's a little bit better, but because because last year was so tough for me, I had to get another tooth removal, so um, that was healing. I'm still healing now in the process of that as well, but like, you know, having a sore jaw isn't fun, and there are times when I would record, and I'm like, oh, my jaw, so I need to put something on it. I'm like, nope, Bill, I just hold it and hold it in. <laughs> so there'll be times behind the scenes I'd be like, oh, it's so sore, but I have to push through it, so... You know, so anyway, yeah, it's slowly getting better. Also, I wasn't sure I was going to do this event. I, I wasn't sure if I was going to edit this yesterday. I'm glad I did because over the weekend I had a really bad eye. I get a headache from too much devices. So, yeah, so I was luckily to get this done. So, like, phew, thank God. Woo, over to us. So, yes, yeah, so anyway, besides me rambling on, yes, we're going to talk about the Beach Boys as well. Now, I know nothing about the Beach Boys. I'm sorry. I really don't know anything about the Beach Boys, to be honest. I think they came out in the 60s, didn't they? Yeah, um, I know, I don't know all their songs, but I've heard some of their songs, like, kind of, like, in the Barbie trailer, for instance, I'm not sure what trailer it was in, sometimes they would put, like, um, a music score in a trailer, you know, to air people up, and I think that was Fun 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 from Barbie, if you heard that song from Barbie, from the trailer Barbie as well, so that's interesting. So I've heard some of these songs, but I don't know them that well. Like, I don't know anything. I know nothing about this, guys, <laughs> as well. So, yeah. So, anyway, um, there was a song. Oh, is it called Surfing USA? Or is it? Because someone put Surfing Safari, and I know that song only because it's interesting how movies, you know, it's interesting how you, it's interesting how movies, when you hear a song, you're like, oh, I love the song. Let's, I want to download it. And it's funny when you get inspiration from a song or hear a song that you really like. So I I heard Surfing, I'm pretty sure it's called Surfing USA because it says it in a song. I'm pretty sure it's not Surfing Safari. But um, I only heard a song from How the Gym. I was rocking for decades. That's so bad. But it's so true because if you think about in the 80s, they have all these hits. Like, oh, my God. And so in these days, 80s and 70s style of fashion and music is coming back to pop culture. So that's also... um. Very interesting as well. So, yeah, so I only put that song from that side. But, yeah, but it's a really good song, like a really good song. Although, most of, although Simon looks more of a beach boy, to be honest with you. Oh, hey, I just realized Beetle looks like the, I did not know there was a brunette in the band. I thought they were all blondes. That's why I called the beach boys, because they're in California. <laughs> so, that's interesting. I never do that. Never do that at all. So, yeah, so, um, I'm, yeah, I think it was 60s, because the Ronettes came out in the 60s, and you like, and I've heard that song, Be My Baby, oh, such a good song, really good song, go check it out, it's in colorized, so you can watch it in color instead of black and white, because someone put a colorized version a while ago on YouTube, and it's got kind of like that beat, be my, be my, be my little baby, my one, you get the idea, so it's kind of got that 60s beat, to it and it's like shoo up shoo up shoo up you know what i mean so it's kind of that it's kind of giving 60s vibes um i could be wrong but i think it's 60s it's definitely 60s and like i said it's very interesting where you get inspiration from these not inspiration from, from these songs but it's interesting where you find these songs out like 
For example, girls just want to want to have fun. I only know that song from Hell and the Chipmunks from the, from one of the episodes. And I looked up the song that was by Cindy Lauper, Girls Just Want to Have Fun. And I saw the music clip. I'm like, oh my god, this song's amazing! What? How come I haven't heard this song before? So it's interesting where you where you find songs from movies and then you look up the original song later on. Such a good song as well. So let's check out the Beach Boys, shall we? Hold it, please. Try it one more time from the top. Hey! Ladies and gentlemen, the Beach Boys! The Beach Boys just represented some sort of fantasy. They were participating in the creation of a California dream. made me want to go to where they had cars and girls in bikinis. So would you have fun, fun, fun! Their music takes you someplace. It's definitely been ups and downs. It's probably been counted out half a dozen times. We used to sing three four harmony in the backseat of the car. And that's the birds of three brothers singing together. Three brothers, Brian, Dennis, and Carl, a cousin, Mike Love, and our good friend, Al Jenny. That's family to me. We've known each other for a really long time, and there really is a great deal of fellowship in the group. And we've been turned off a lot. Ah, oh, of course, the Beatles! I forgot about the Be Beatles. They're at the same time, weren't they? Yeah. Yeah, that must been hard. Music actually be what it became. But this path began to be an obstacle. I'm a genius too. Let's go. My uncle Murray sold the publisher, and Brian went. You sold songs. Oh wait, that's the one the Toy Story for the trailer, isn't it? Yeah. I recognize the um beat. Put into popular songs before. Did it first. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I said I've, I've heard this song about a couple of times actually. Would it have been asked to really show what it's like when? Hey, so now I'm on that hand to see that. Something about the way those individuals blended together. They're all part of it. What did they record so? Oh my god. That's insane. The fact that Bo was a family, that's where the success came from. I just realized they um changed the Disney logo. I'm like, they just changed the Disney logo because I was on the Disney Plus a while ago. Just the other a while ago, and I'm like, oh, they changed the logo. So that's interesting. I wonder why they did that. It looks like a very fun documentary about how the Beach Boys became to be and how their songs became to be as well. Because when I watched the Marilyn Monroe, The Mystery of Down Hard Tapes, and the Elvis documentary, they were really sad to watch. Well, I think the Elvis one was really sad. Like, really, really sad. And uh, when I watched The Mystery of Marilyn Monroe, they were going through all these, like, you know, conspiracies of how she died. I went, we get how she died. It's not the Wikipedia. <laughs> so it's like, why make a documentary about that if if we really, truly knew how Marilyn Monroe died? Uh, trailer reaction on my YouTube channel. Go check it out if you're interested. But, yeah, but, um, I think it's going to focus more on the positive light because when I watch, when, well, I've kind of watched a couple of documentaries, like the Steve Martin one. Oh, so good. Like, I, I knew, I knew, I know more about Steve Martin than ever before. Wham one on Netflix, like, oh, my God, I love the Wham one. You know, so anyway, yeah, the web one was really good as well. So, like, Disney Plus is, like, thinking, huh, we should get on this wagon too because, you know, they uh, they don't really have a lot of documentary. Do they? Uh, maybe Disney documentaries. I haven't seen any of this. I saw the Mickey Mouse one, but I thought it was very boring. And yeah, they're like, this is the creator of Mickey Mouse. They are talking about blah, blah, blah. So it was good, but, like, oh, jeez. It was very long too. I'm like, how long is this documentary on Mickey Mouse? <laughs> so I seen that one, but... Haven't seen like all the other Disney documentaries. So I'm like, hey, we should get on this wa uh, wagon as well about this as well. So yeah. So anyway, um, yeah. So I'm, it's interesting to me that the Beach Boys. I thought they were all related to be honest with you because they wear the same outfits. And uh, it's interesting that they have three brothers, one cousin, and one friend. 
Like, oh, cool, let's make a bed. <laughs> I thought that was funny. And also, uh, when it came to the Ronettes back in the day, I thought they were all related. And it's like two sisters and one cousin. So obviously back in the day, they were like, oh, they have bears of cousins or brothers or sisters. And also the po the Pointer sisters are related to each other, aren't they? I did not notice. Did you know they were triplets? I did not catch that. That is so interesting. They're triplets. Uh, you can see where the inspiration of the Chipettes came from, obviously. And also the chipmunks as well, be, re be related to each other, making a bear as well. Um, so yeah, so that's interesting. But also if you think like other bears as well, you think... Huh, okay, so, you know, how can you afford having a big family back in the day, but also provide for them as well? Because these days, I've got a friend of mine that comes from, how many siblings does he have? Um, I've got someone that comes from maybe nine or eight siblings, and that's insane, oh my god. But yeah, but, um, you know, it's interesting, like, how can you have so many kids back in the day and provide for us, including the, including the Jackson family, oh my god. Uh, don't want to get into that, but, like, you know, it's insane, but, like, you know, uh, I was listening, like, I was listening, I was just listening to, when I was getting ready, I was just listening to the Sister Sledge, and did you know there were quadruplets before? That's insane. That's insane. So, um, you know, like, if you think about back in the day, they had no TV, they had limited money, um, limited resources. So I'm like, how can you provide for such a big family back in the day? Because my mom is the youngest of two older sisters. And she told me about, you know, what it was like. She wasn't poor on anything, I don't think. But it must have been pretty hard to, like, raise, you know, a big family. Do you have a big family? Uh, does your parents look after you very well as well? Uh, I'm sure they do. I'm sure they do. But it's interesting to see nowadays it's very hard for families to provide and i'm like how can you provide i get it with three i get it with three and two but not like seven and eight i'm like that's just insane like how can you provide for these kids <laughs> as well also with the documentary uh we see two um uh, people who are from the beach boys there they are there are their younger selves um, I don't know, I don't know their names, I know none of them, so I'm going to find it. this documentary very interesting to watch for me, personally, but, um, you know, it's interesting, it's very, very interesting, um, as well, but, like, you know, I think I know the top guy, I've seen him in something, wasn't he an actor or something, I've seen his face somewhere, I've seen him somewhere before, I can't remember, but I'm, I've seen that face. But I saw an image the other day of all of them together. Now, I'm not sure if all of them are alive, but I'm pretty sure they're all alive because I just saw a picture on, in, on the internet saying that as well. Because you don't know these days. You really don't know. I'm like, oh, is this person still alive? No. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, but anyway, it's life. It's life, guys. <laughs> so yeah, so also, I was very shocked and surprised to see Janelle, Janelle Monet and Scott documentary. Like, Okay, does Janelle Monae is a big fan of the Beach Boys? I mean, they have, like, actors and celebrities come and, you know, sometimes, like, uh, be a guest star or a documentary of, uh, of an infamous band and stuff. So maybe she was kind of, like, you know, there as well. But I think there was also another celebrity actor in there as well who was famous as well. I first thought it was Lady Kravitz because he had, like, the... Yeah, I like the dreadlocks. No, it's not Lady Kravitz. <laughs> but yeah, but overall, this looks very fun. Um, I can't wait to see this. So yeah, so what do you think of the Beach Boys documentary? Do you like my reaction? Make sure to like, share, subscribe to the Mills Media, guys. And also, you can check out more of my documentary um, reactions. Link will be in the description below. So all my trailer reactions will have like links to the descriptions below so you can watch them as well.